Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Hello presenters. It's Miss Arifa again here in our subject English for presentation. In this video, we will talk about the next part of a presentation, which is the content and how to create it. I will show you how to prepare your content so that every information is covered effectively and give you some examples. Let's get to it. When you present a material, there are two parts that must be there, namely the main ideas and the justifications of those ideas. You can write your presentation content in paragraphs of which the number depends on the number of your points. In each of the paragraph, these two parts should be present. First of all, the number of the points you mention in your introduction will decide the number of points you explain in the content. Therefore, if you have three points, your content must have three parts of the content. Each content part must begin with one or two sentences that show the main idea, which is the sentence that contains one point and the topic of the whole presentation. This is to remind the audience that you plan to discuss that you mentioned previously in the introduction. These are the three examples of the main idea of the three points. After stating the main idea of each point, you also should have supporting details. These details function as the justifications of your argument of each point. Remember, a good presenter will not just give their opinion. They also need to show the audience that they have a strong reason to believe what the presenter just told them in their point. Supporting details can be in various forms. It can be in the form of statistical facts or date. Uh, it can also be in the form of expert testimony on your topic. Be careful in choosing the expert. Your own examples to make your ideas clearer. Or maybe the narration or real life stories. Known or unknown facts or simply your logical reasoning, which will showcase your critical thinking. Well, you don't have to use only one type of detail. In fact, if you can make more justifications, your presentation will likely be more convincing. This decision, uh, whether to use which Details will depend on the length of the time available for you. To conclude this video, the, con the content of your presentation is basically the body. So without a strong and well-built body, your presentation will be a weak one. First thing to remember is to always mention again your point in a sentence to show the main idea, and then always follow with one or more supporting details to explain your main idea. Then you can continue to your next point in the same manners repeatedly until all points are discussed. Thank you so much for watching this video attentively. I hope you have a great success with your presentation. Have a great presentation. See you and Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.